Fashion Rules Restyled is an exhibition focusing on Her Majesty the Queen, Princess Margaret and Diana, Princess of Wales. It will be exploring the individual relationships that they had with certain designers. The Queen with Hardy Amys, Princess Margaret with Christian Dior and Princess Diana with Catherine Walker. It was extremely important for designers to have a very good working relationship with their royal client. If you look closely at several of the sketches, you'll notice that there are notes or handwritten marks across several of them. And actually, those are notations from the Queen herself or Princess Margaret. The relationship between Her Majesty the Queen and Hardy Amos began in 1950 when she was still princess and he continued to work with the Queen until his retirement in 1989. Hardy Amos was integral to establishing the style of a very crisp, understated look for Her Majesty the Queen. He felt that royalty should be dressed like royalty so he always made extra special care to pick really rich materials. Throughout her reign, it was the Queen's practice to call her dressmakers to the palace. They would come with sketches that they prepared and then she would look at these and they would discuss it and they would often annotate those sketches. And then the dresses would come back, there'd be fittings, and then eventually they would be finished and delivered to the palace. And it was the job of the royal dresser to pack and look after these dresses for when the Queen went off on, for example, state tours. Princess Margaret visited Christian Dior in Paris in 1949 and ordered some clothes from one of his collections. And it was at this point that she really began to start wearing the new look. The look that was the nipped in waist and the full skirts that she became famous for. And it was at this point that she really became very much a fashion icon of the time. The press were very keen to follow what Margaret was wearing and they said what she wears is news. Everybody wanted to copy the Princess Margaret look. Princess Margaret's very clever about this. Here we're still under austerity measures and so there's restriction on fabric. What she did is she cleverly added an extra, extra band of fabric around the bottom of her overcoats. And this was the trick. A lot of people here noticed it, especially other fashion conscious women, and they followed her suit. So it was a way around the austerity measure, yet still being fashionable. Diana Princess of Wales' relationship with Catherine Walker began in 1981, and Catherine became known for creating Diana's dignified showstoppers. And Diana actually went on to wear over 500 of Catherine Walker's creations. Catherine Walker said of Diana, I always liked the fact that she didn't follow fashion but did what was right for her. And Catherine really helped Diana develop her personal style. In fact, Woman's Own said that Diana is the lady that most of us want to copy. Hartnell, um, he had a very structured relationship with the Queen. Where in contrast to that, Diana developed a more personal relationship with Catherine Walker. She would invite her to Kensington Palace, she would bring fabric samples, and they would literally work on the designs and sketches together. So that was more of a formative, collaborative process that they had. 